my gosh, we okay. totally should get them. I know, we got We got another two coming here. And they're a little cuter than the last one. Oh, don't be mean. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey. hey. Hi. So, we're doing, a, we're doing a run video here and we're gonna be trying to help runners in town sort of improve their form and, and, and run style. Would you guys be interested in doing a little quick video with us? Yeah, of course. Well, you know, it's just what I do. Hey, I'm Brandon Del Campo, and this is Joanna Zeiger. Joanna is a Olympian in triathlon, two-time marathon Olympic trials qualifier, swim Olympic trials qualifier. Yeah. She's 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 been involved with the Olympics a lot, <laughs> and she's also a half Ironman world champion and multiple Ironman winner, et cetera, et cetera. She's the real deal. This is Brandon Del Campo, and uh, you have lost a lot of weight since our last video. I have, 22 pounds. He's been putting the lock on the refrigerator, I hear. Yes, well actually, I've been doing a lot of the stuff that we've been preaching, and I've improved my leg, which has allowed me to work out more, which in turn allows me to eat more and lose weight, so. Yes, well Brandon Del Campo <laughs> ran in college, so he's got some primo run credentials. Perfect, yes. And So we are here today in lovely Boulder, Colorado, to do an extreme run makeover. Which one is the one and which one's the other? I'll count the one in the red shorts, you count the one in the black shorts. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I, I got 18, what'd you get? I got about 20. About 20, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we were just taking a little look at how you guys are running. You're actually pretty good runners. Do you guys run for anybody? No, I'm starting running for school next year. Oh, though. you are? Where you, where you in high school, Colorado college? college? Nice. How Indeed. about you? I also go to Colorado College, but nice. I just run for fun and I play soccer. So how much oh, running nice. do you guys usually do? Um, Between like six and eight miles, yeah. How, how many days how a week? How many days a week? She does every day. I probably do like five times a week. Yeah. Do you guys nice. race at all? I um, never did. No. Well, I didn't. I mean, I did track a little bit my last year in high school, but nothing. Cross country in high school and now. Nice. Well, you guys look like you could... Uh, yeah, you guys actually have pretty good form. <laughs> you should but be they're... showing up at some races. Yeah, but yeah, definitely. But we definitely have a couple of things that we think can help you out. Um, one of the things that we think is really important is run cadence. And most people are running at too low a cadence. And um, so the run you... cadence is how fast your foot is turning yeah. over on the okay. ground. So most people... So what you can do is for 15 seconds, count how often your right foot hits the ground. And then multiply that by four. That gives you how often your right foot's hitting the ground in a minute. And we usually like to see people over 90. You guys are both around the 80 mark. Yeah. And what happens is when you run at a low cadence, you're just not running as efficiently. The, the legs aren't turning over as fast. The foot's on the ground a little bit longer. Um, neither of you actually particularly overstrides too much, no. but it could lead to that in the future. So you know, running at a low cadence eventually leads to loping where the foot's just landing way in front of the body it can cause some issues with the hips. So one of the things that we want to really work on with the two of you, since both of you could work on that, is getting the cadence up. Yeah. So it'll 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 be a very easy thing to do with people like yourself. Yeah. So I think like you're almost there. Quick, quick feet drills would be good for that. I think quick quick foot drills for sure. Yeah. We'll demonstrate. And we'll then see demonstrate, if you guys can do and it. then what we'll yeah. do is um, we'll go next to you so that you can see how to do it. Right. Okay. okay. But this is a really good way for you to so. Let's just first demonstrate the difference between the high cadence and the low cadence, and then we'll get to the quick feet drop. Right, running wise. Yeah. So I'm going to show you a lower cadence, okay? We'll, and we'll, we'll both do a, a low cadence. A low yeah. cadence, okay? All right, ready? It's always in front of me. Well, I have bigger legs. Always in front of me. Okay. So now we're gonna now we're gonna show you what a higher cadence. Yeah. The low, it's hard uh -huh. to do the low cadence when you're kind of loping along. But, but basically what happens is the foot is just coming off the ground much more quickly and the feet are underneath the hips, which is where you want them to be to prevent some hip injuries. So now we're going to show you the quick feet drills. All right, so you're talking about just running in place? Well, just, yeah. just getting the foot off the ground. And as soon as you're comfortable running like this, start slowly moving forward. So you're 
coordinating the arms and the legs together and getting the feet off the ground really quickly. And you notice how when you do these, you can't, you can't overstride. Your, your feet are always going to be right, yeah. right under you. Okay. So All right. So why don't you guys get right next to me, or why don't you, one of you on each side? Okay. I'll All right. watch and see how it's going. And then we're going to start with our right leg. Okay. And we're just going to go quick feet. Don't don't overthink it. It'll come just naturally. Go a little bit okay, faster. Okay. Bring those arms up just a little bit. There you go. Good job. Okay. Now let's go. Oh, good. You guys are awesome at this. <laughs> Get your legs going a little bit quicker. Okay, now let's move just a little bit forward as we're doing this. Oh, nice. You guys are awesome. I think you guys should go right into a stride out. Okay, ready? Now we're going to start to run. Stride ready? Out and run. run. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Not too bad. Your cadence picked up, but you need to get. You as soon get, as you, as soon as you start to go high. faster, your cadence slow down. Yeah, try and try and get that leg off. It's almost like as soon as that foot hits the ground, get it off the ground again. You know what I mean? Okay. So it's because you what happens? Don't make big strides. Do pop, don't pop, make big strides. Don't okay. make big strides. Try and just try and get when you, that leg hits the ground, keep it under you, and just get it off the ground because it'll pick. Up, you'll you'll start to match each other's cadence, and you'll find that it will propel you forward. All right, so we're gonna okay. do the same thing. We're gonna yeah. do the. We're gonna do this in place. Yeah. Move forward into a stride, and as you pick up your speed, just think about keeping those legs underneath fast. Right. Okay. okay. I'll do so, the I'll do the drill in front of you, and go backwards, and that way you can see Oh my gosh! I Joanna. hope you hit something. I know, right? <laughs> How awesome would that be if you fell? Boom. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? ready? <laughs> go. Hit. Fast, fast. Get your legs fast, faster. Fast. Off. Don't bring them up as high. Don't bring them up as high. Oh, there you go. Just lower. So you see how we're just popping off the ground? Okay. Now Use forward. your arms. Get your arms forward. 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 Good. Okay, no, good. Now stride. There you go. Oh, good. Good job. Um, so do you always stay on your tiptoes? Because I feel like if I'm going that fast, there's not enough time to have like heel, toe. Well, the faster you run, the more forward you'll be on your foot. So if you look at like the 100 meter runners, they are like on their toes. People that are running longer distances tend to be a little bit further back. So the faster you run, the more forward generally you'll be on your foot. Yeah, and you know, you're obviously, you're, you're exaggerating something, right? When you're trying to do this. So it's not gonna feel totally natural, but if you just slightly start to think about the, the fast, you know, incorporating this into your daily running like a little bit before you start and when you end, then when you run, it will sort of naturally start to come into play. And, and just when you're running, periodically just look at your watch and count your cadence. And if you see that it's dropping, just think about shortening up the stride, getting those legs moving just a little bit underneath you more and just getting that foot turnover a little bit faster. Yeah. Make you way more efficient. And if you decide that you want to race, you'll see your race times kind of going down. Yeah. So is this mainly for racing or also for This is for everything. Okay. Yeah, it's it'll for everything. it'll it'll bring longevity to your running career too because, you know, obviously you want to keep doing this throughout life, right? So hopefully, you know, if you can change your your form a little bit, you'll avoid injuries over time. You'll be more time. efficient you'll, with your yeah, running. Yeah, you'll be way more it's efficient. Easier on the body. Injuries. Yeah. And the average is 90. Is that you? about 90? Yeah. yeah. So if you're counting for 15 seconds, about 22, 23. Yeah. So <laughs> why don't we just take a quick look at you guys running again, thinking about a higher cadence? Yeah. Let's just see. Just just do it as now. Just kind of think about it and see what happens. Yeah. All right, well, we can definitely see a cadence improvement here. Yeah. <laughs> good job, ladies. That's really good. All right, nice job. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That, Thank that's you a so good much. improvement. Yeah. All right, so. well, hopefully that didn't take too much of your time. And no, no, no. now you've just got some really good knowledge to take with you when you run now. Yeah. So think about that in the rest of your run and enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Thank okay. you. Yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. 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 Well, I think that was a, a success. Yeah, definitely. They were they were pretty good runners, actually. They were. They just yeah. needed a little tweaking. A little bit of tweaking. All right. All right. Well, that was fun. Yeah. So, again, we've got our race ready coaching that is now up and running. And where can they go to find that? RaceReadyCoaching.com. Right. Because you know what? If you're gonna race, you might as well race ready, right? Right. Yeah. So that means you go check it out and sign up. All right. So we'll see you next time. See you next time. All right. <laughs>